Bina. Gawat. One of the most destructive, shallow, deep earthquakes, about 10 kilometers, telling us that this stress is about to transfer. And where it struck that in the Philippines is, if we look right here, you can see it's right along that ring of fire area. So you need to be watching this if you're in Alaska, you're in the West Coast, you're in California, all these areas, because the oceanic plates deep below are speaking to us and we can see stuff start to transpire over this week, the next two weeks. And we're talking, guys, that this quake in Philippines was so bad, it knocked out power. Uh, you can see people uh, right here running and in the collapsed structures, the rubble, because you know over there they have a lot of brick uh, buildings that were built. But these are the ones you have to immediately get out of if you're in these type of situations. Um, mostly in America, we don't have buildings like that, but it's collapsing structures is not just that happening. There is video of the road literally shaking. So like, take a listen to this clip right here. And look, the shaking didn't stop either. Imagine you're in this scenario uh, because after the shaking happens, you know, no matter where you're in the world, this is survival tactic you should think about. The liquefaction actually slowly starts happening. If you're in the zone like off the West Coast after a 7.0 hit, the bridge will slowly start sinking. That's if it doesn't collapse right away. So the thing is, is like you just hurry up and get off that bridge as soon as possible. If you're in that scenario for survivability, that's going to be important to think about as we see destruction in the land. So after the initial shaking stop, you got to make it a priority to get off of there as safe as possible. But no one can imagine the utter chaos that will take place right when these events happen. This dude just like skipping around. And as you can see, a lot of people uh, in the Philippines is coming out of these high rise buildings. So when they're evacuating, it takes so long when you're on the eighth floor or seventh floor or sixth floor. This is all things you need to take into account. Okay, if the scenario happens, am I up very high? What is my exit strategy? And if it's a lot of people, you can't even exit as fast as you want to. And the thing is, is this is something you have to weigh out over here in America. We have mainly three story, four stories. But this is a thing that even in some condo areas will be something that you need to measure out as these events take place, because we can learn from what we're seeing right now in the Philippines. A strong earthquake has just. This is the governor of Cebu where the earthquake happened. I know had Luxa, but please stay calm and move to open areas. It was just this point, a 6.9, 10, 12 p.m. There was a 5.2 aftershock, almost in the identical location. There is a lot of damage. The island of Cebu has buildings crumbling and houses crumbling and hotels crumbling. Uh, this is a very serious thing for a lot of people. Yes, our prayers go out to them. In Cebu, you can see there is a collapsed structure of a McDonald's building. Uh, I also know a follower here for the channel named uh, Pete, and I sent a message to him to see if he's all right out there in the Philippines. I know they've lost power in some locations, so thankfully my uncle and his wife wasn't out there at the time. I'm still praying for people that are in these locations as we speak. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, I think we should probably get down. And scientists have been worrying about this ring of fire activity because this is what's so worrying about it. In the past 30 days and these months we've been seeing it happen, it's been in clusters. It's not been something that's spaced out. Uh, and when it's like this in clusters, this is rupture, stress, transfer, redistribution across the ring of fire. It's basically loading up stress in nearby faults. Think of it like a domino effect. One gets hit, another one gets hit, next one gets hit, and it keeps happening across all around to the West Coast. And foreshocks, not aftershocks, are the small events leading up to the main event, the big quake, which they worry about the, are we in the mega tsunami moment coming pretty soon is what we're constantly looking at as the situation evolves. You need to subscribe, stay tuned because we're covering all the details that most people are not even looking at. And clusters without a big quake could signify magma movement starting to happen as we did see Iwo Jima erupt. The military had to move off of the island. We know that the magma in the Pacific is starting to move. And this is another sign of that story. By Philippines, there is a subduction system. The Ring of Fire itself has subduction systems there. Like There's one by Russia. Then you got one by the uh, coast of West Coast. The plates are diving under each other. So when clusters tighten within days to weeks like it's been doing, it means that the plate interface is actively adjusting, sometimes a precursor to a larger rupture nearby. Normally quakes in the ring of fire are, you know, spaced out. Like let's say one happens now and then you'll have one happen the next month. You'll have one happen four months later or something like that. That has not been the case lately. And that's why scientists are more concerned about this scenario. And this is why we see more activity starting to just redistribute right away because of this activity shift that is definitely taking place that you should take seriously. I mean, if we're really paying close attention, the U.S. military started getting prepared for tsunamis even more after the Russia earthquake hit and we had all those warnings go out. Not just them, British Columbia saying get prepared, Costa Rica saying get prepared. Uh, just multiple signs that even along California coastline, they started telling people, hey, uh, we're putting these new evacuation routes for tsunamis. So with the activity of them starting to move towards a new level of preparedness, this tells us that something is projected in their minds to be peaking in activity as we see the activity peak and they're going to get prepared for it. So that just means that you need to be much more in tight, closer with the people around you, family, so that you can have a plan for when these things do happen, have an emergency point of contact, have a location that you can go to high ground. All you should already know these things because when this strikes, it's going to happen with minutes. Just like the military evacuation document plan that I showed you days ago, probably be suggested below this video. They're only given 30 minutes to get their feet off the ground. Now imagine what would you do within 30 minutes? And maybe they said even you might get 10 minutes alert on the West Coast. That's what the official Pacific seismic director said. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, uh, we talk a lot about the early the shake alert or the warning system and all that. I always wonder, like, um, I I'm guessing you're a fan of that early warning system. And if we have some kind of a few seconds warning, but w will something like that yeah. really help us when the big one comes? Um, I would say yes. Uh, I have a vested interest since we operate part of the Shake Alert system <laughs> and, and I'm funded to work on Shake Alert. So you can take that with, with however you want. <laughs> Um, yeah, the value the value of earthquake early warning 
um, it might seem like not much to say we might get 10 seconds or even 30 seconds or a minute of advance warning. Okay, it's worse than I thought. He said 10 seconds to 30 seconds. So that tells you how much you're going to get an alert once this thing hits. And that's why as this community right now, we can find early warning signs. I can see the stages towards how this is going to build up. You giving me the information in the comment section right now, telling me what you're experiencing, what you're seeing. I take that data and then I can analyze it, take it through certain different sequences to try to get you the early warning. Like I told you off the West Coast, we're going to see probably 4.0 again, maybe close to maybe 5.0 after this stress redistribution and i'm looking at from two to four weeks based on the newer evidence i've been seeing lately that's been the case before you exit the video the video that ties into this hugely they don't want you to see i'm telling you i put details that nobody has go watch it right now before it's too late